Hi there, welcome to Using DIY, my name's Ben. In this video, we're making some custom furniture in here in the living room. Okay, so it's Saturday morning. Um, so that obviously means a new weekend, a new DIY project. Um, so the plan is in the living room, we've got this cupboard here uh, to my right, which has got the TV on. And it's got a cupboard underneath it, which we built when we first did the living room. So we've got that, that side. We left the other side different. So let me just move over and show you that one. So the other side is a very similar size alcove, but it's got the same shelving, which continues across. But at the bottom, we've just got a table that we made in there. And we put some baskets in there with the coal and the wood for the fire. Uh, so the plan is to make um, a mirrored cupboard, a mirror image, or the, sorry, the same type of cupboard at the other side. So we're going to do that, make um, some new doors, but the difference is we're going to leave a gap underneath for, for the uh, firewood to go underneath. Um, but yeah, as you look at it, same height, same depth, uh, just a different purpose. And we're going to move the TV from this corner to that, cu uh, that, that cupboard over there, uh, just to give a better viewing angle when we're sat in the living room. So just a bit of a closer look, obviously we've got that cupboard there, see with the TV on and the shelving above it. So it's perfect, fits the TV perfect. It's all right if you sat kind of here on the sofa watching it or in the middle, but anywhere else the angles to, to um, you can't see properly, but we're gonna put an arm at the back of it, but because it's quite deep, this alcove, we need to get like a, a bigger, more expensive arm. So rather than do that, we're gonna build a brand new cupboard instead. <laughs> um, so the cupboard will go here. So at the moment we've got this chair and we've just got a table that we made that's underneath there that's got them baskets in. So yeah, it'll just continue across the same kind of height of the cupboard. Some doors, the same style as those doors in there. But I'm going to leave a gap, the height of the skirting board, to be able to put wood underneath, uh, fire underneath, just to give it that nice, uh, nice look, but somewhere to store the wood as well. Okay, materials have been purchased from Wix, we've just been out now to get them. Um, so I've done a little sketch what it looked like here, got all my measurements. So I'm going to level it up, uh, get my spirit level out, get some lines drawn at wall and uh, get putting the uh, support brackets around the outside to then put the top shelf onto. So we'll do that now, measure up, get everything set right and go from there. Okay, so use the laser level there to get uh, get the level for the top. So that's going to be the very top surface of there. So I'll measure everything down from there. Um, definitely recommend a laser level as well. Um, it wasn't um, it wasn't a particularly uh, expensive one, um, but it's a Magnuson one. I think I think I got it from Screwfix possibly. Um, I don't, it wasn't very much money. Oh, it might have been off Amazon actually. But anyway, yeah, definitely recommend a laser level. Uh, I know you can get much more expensive ones, but for a DIY one, um, it's really, really good. Especially when you're working around corners, you know, trying to get match up from one, uh, one surface to another surface around the corner. Really useful. Uh, so I'll try and find a link to it. Uh, might not sell this one anymore, but something similar. And I'll pop it in the description. Okay, so I've got a line, other line all the way around. The finish board's 18mm thick, so I'll measure 18mm down from that line, and then I can put my support beams around there where the uh, top will rest on.
Okay, I need to get the coax from the other side to this side. So, drill the screw holes. I think I've got through on this one. Um, I had to be really careful because we've got underfloor eating, so we're going to put some wire down there now. Okay, it's day two now. Um, we got that done yesterday, obviously, with the uh, edge bits put on around the outside. They're all fixed in. It's not fallen off overnight, which is a good sign. Um, so now what I'm going to do is all the screw holes, uh, where I've obviously screwed in, I'm just going to fill them with this. Um, some polyfiller one fill. Used on loads of stuff, it's really good. Dries really quick, goes nice and hard. So get them filled top and bottom and then let that dry and we can think about probably painting it. Okay, all filled down the edges, screw holes all filled. Down the side where it meets the wall, filled, looking good. So now I'm gonna build the doors. Two doors on hinges, it's to the same style as these. So with these doors, it's just some three mil ply 18 mil architrave. Filled, uh, filled and sanded now. Now we're going to paint it up with some Valspar trade paint. Doors also done. Need to fill them and we can paint them up as well. Okay, Sunday night, we're all, we're done for the night now, so I'm show you what we've done. Two coats of paint on there, just drying off now, but it's blending in nicely. Two coats on the bottom as well. 
And then the cupboard doors are all done. Filled all gaps, little gaps that were in on mitres, just tiny little gaps. They're all filled. They need to dry, then they can be painted. Um, and then obviously, once they're painted, we'll hang them into the cupboard. Okay, two coats of paint dried on there now. So we're gonna finish this off with some Wix interior varnish, quick dry. It's a matte finish one. Used it on tons of stuff in the house, really good, goes on well, and it does dry really quick. So I'll probably get a couple of coats on within a couple of hours. So we'll do that on the top, on the front of those frames, um, and I might do the bottom shelf as well, because we're gonna put stuff in there so we don't want to, um, for it to scratch. So this will protect stuff really well. Probably two coats. Um, this is that look. Touch dry in one hour. So yeah, do that now, and then we can do the same on the doors. Okay, so two coats of varnish on now. I'm gonna attach these now, these um, uh, like piano hinges, um, like we've done, done on the other one. Um, so we're gonna attach them to the door, to the frame first, just with a couple of screws. And then I can, I can attach them to the door and then I know exactly where they're going back onto the frame. Just makes it easier when fitting them onto the frame. So we'll get them perfectly aligned in the middle of that frame. Just put a couple of screws in and then we can attach them to the door. Okay, cupboard door fitters are fitted on, screwed in. We just need the handles now and some magnets fitting behind, but looking good. Um, just fitted that, I can't really see it, just to tidy that hole up. Um, so we'll put the TV back and then we can get some handles at some point and uh, get it fully finished. Okay, so now we're gonna fit these magnets. So you've got the bit magnet and then a bit of metal that attaches to the door. I've put some blocks here at the bottom and the top. So that'll get fitted onto there, like so. And then we've got these handles that we got from TK Maxx, some cool little foxes. So one on each door, and then we're gonna put them on the old doors as well. So we'll fit the magnets on one door, not on both, sorry. Fit a handle on one, and then fit the handle on the other.
Okay, so they're all done now. Handles are on, all's done. I've done both side doors, uh, both units. Let me show you what's going on. Let's flip around. So as you can see, handles are on, doors looking good, all matched up. So that's looking great. And then we've got the same handles on this side. So both sides now match up. So happy with that. Looking great. Okay, all done and dusted, cupboards all fitted, looking great with the new handles on, uh, with the new magnets as well. So the, the handles were from TK Maxx, so they're a bit of a one-off. Uh, the magnets I've used now in here and in the porch, uh, so I'd recommend them. I'll try and put a link in the description, they're just off Amazon. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's been useful this video, anyone that's trying to build their own built-in furniture. Um, we're obviously storing all our coal and kindling and stuff in there for the fire, so that's brilliant for us. Uh, so if it's been good this video for you, you liked it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Any comments or questions, drop them into the comment section and I'll get back to any comments. And if you want to follow our journey along the Houston DIY journey, please subscribe. See you in the next one.